From CBS 2 News New York, I'm Dana Tyler. In our headlines, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has reversed a guideline on masks and now says even vaccinated people should wear masks indoors in parts of the United States where the coronavirus is surging. The CDC had said in May that fully vaccinated people could stop wearing masks outdoors and in most indoor settings. On Long Island, investigators say speed may have been a factor in the head-on crash that killed five people in Quag. Authorities say a police officer saw a Nissan driven by 22-year-old Justin Mendez traveling at a high rate of speed on Saturday. The officer was unable to catch up with the car before it collided with another car. A furniture store owner in Bridgeport, Connecticut has been arrested again on charges he sexually assaulted female customers. Police say it happened when Henwai Salem lured two women in separate incidents to the store's basement where he asked them to lie down to test a mattress. Salem was previously arrested twice on similar accusations. New York City is staging a comeback concert on August 21st in Central Park. Mayor de Blasio says the event, called We Love New York City, the homecoming concert, will feature a star-studded lineup. 80% of the tickets will be free and will start being released on Monday. In our weather, Lonnie Quinn says Tuesday, mostly sunny with some haze and an air quality alert due to smoke from the western wildfires. That alert is in effect until 11 p.m. Tuesday. The high, 90 degrees, there's an isolated storm risk, mainly north. Tuesday night, the low, 72. Wednesday, a few showers early with isolated evening showers. The high, 82. Wednesday night, partly cloudy with a slight chance of rain, the low, 69. Get your forecast and your local news headlines streaming on CBS and New York. Find it on our website, cbsnewyork.com or on the CBS News app. I'm Dana Tyler, CBS2 News.